We're going to focus on two key points here, Tyler. Makai Akinboni on the back line. Veteran three, but a 16-year-old at 131 days and just his third MLS star guy in the ninth spot. That's a question we're going to ask all year long. Three new on the back line, four with Sean Johnson, but he's coming off 14 shutouts. As part of this MLS season passes, Ted Uncle, our head referee for tonight's affair, gets us underway. Turn off the world and turn on the game. We're playing for three points here at Audi Field, 39th all-time meeting. Roberta, excellent hold-up play. Now finding Pedro Santos, early delivery for Benteke, but Sean Johnson off of his line. Trying to continue to bolster this roster, whether it be in a starting 11 position. Or coming off of the bench as Matias Klick enjoying some space here. Durkin to his right, decides to unload! What a way to introduce yourself to Major League Soccer! And welcome to Washington, D.C., Matias Klick! As you step forward, you're going to pack on another goal here. That's an easy little ball. Five yards play forward. Playing it off for Michael Bradley, who takes it on the first time. Akinboni was there. Correa for Bernadeschi. On that magical left peg, looking for Insigne. Oh, and you expect him to do a lot better with that. It was a difficult balance. So difficult to get this right if you're Insigne. Yes, maybe you expect better. Here's a space. Trying to cut inside. Great vision. It's Santos again as it takes a deflection and it's off the post. Closing in on a second here. So much space. Look at the backside. You're 2v1. Why do you not slide over in that situation? I understand that you've got Pedro Santos there, but the lack of recognition on the front allows the space to continue to open on the backside. Anthony K. A little shimmy to get away from Durkin. This is where Akinola operates at his best. A mistake here for Paulson. Ayo Akinola. And maybe rushed it just a little bit. His final touch did not sit there. Paulson isn't quick enough to get over. Nahar is. A little bit early. Flag is going to stay down. Diamande rounding Miller. And now the flag is going to go up. Great idea, though. He looks, reads it perfectly. Look at the space in between the two center backs. As a striker in the ninth spot, you just got to be smarter here. There is loads of acreage to take your time and slowly bend your run to step into the space. No reason to be in an offside position. Not on, don't play, come back around. Start to work off of each other. There is some good runs coming out of Osorio. There you go. Through the middle. Turn around, Jahaz. Lorea. Akaboni, did he foul him? Yes, it's a penalty. The 16th hour mark. Watch this run by Jonathan Azorio there. That run right there, the slight hesitation. He's not sure where to go. He's slow as to whether or not he should rotate out and help close in a two-on-one situation to help Mahana Jaz or if he should step up to the run that's coming through. That split second that catches him. Federico Bernadeschi. Is he like 1 1? Pretty simplistic in nature, isn't it? Or at least makes it look that way for Federico Bernadeschi right down the middle. Watch his hips. Starts to lean towards the right. That sends Tyler Miller packing. Left footer drops the right shoulder. You tend to believe the hips. You're going to crap out sooner or later. Benteke. Around Rusted. Trying to slide it across. It's Durkin back towards Benteke. Punched away by Johnson. Only as far as Click, who goes for the chip. To the 76th. Watch the footwork. Just a great job. You drag all the players with you. An unselfish play by Benteke. Could also say the same from Durkin, who, if he takes a positive touch in this situation. Santos will go for goal. Johnson mishandled it initially. That's he brought them back into this game. Bernadeschi again. It's a good effort, and what a save from Miller, and it's pushed home. Flag stays down. It looked like it was Mark Anthony K, who was on the doorstep, and indeed it is. An empty net after a spectacular save.
and a clean finish. Feel for Tyler Miller in this situation. He does everything he can to save it. He gets all the way back across. Good positioning. Tiny touch with the kiss off the post. Just needed help defensively. The runners tracking back through. Look at the backside. It's a myriad of youngsters on this left-hand side for DC. Udi Pietro again. Looking to stand one up. It's Benteke! There's your late equalizer from the home side. And with potentially eight minutes of stoppage time, who knows what else this has. But how about the young boys going to work down here at the bottom of your screen? Giazzo with the high line. How coy is Kudi Pietro? Just waits. This is the run you've been looking for. How much space? Yes, but he just sits there. He allows this play to develop. The diagonal, the head up. Benteke space, maybe. Time, possibly. Both, absolutely not. Michael Bradley. Heavy touch from Kay. Good work rate from Kudi Pietro. Gave it away initially, but look at that skill from Bernadeschi. Can he steal the show? Federico Bernadeschi. Big challenge on the line. Cervania across, loose for Miller. And he eventually collects. Excellent entry pass in for Matias Klick. Nahar driving forward with real purpose. Fletcher trying to help it along for Jahaz, who gets his cross away. It's Kudi Pietro! DC have won it! In the most dramatic of fashions! him assure himself once again. Christian Fletcher, how's your touch? Not too bad. Immediately let go on the overlapping run by Giazza. And then the first touch here by Cudi Pietro. That time's with Loudon United, their reserve squad. He's been called the golden boy. That was a golden touch, and it could be. For Toronto FC. They clawed all the way back in the second half, took a 2-1 lead. And that's going to do it full time.